Whenever I'm in a bind for dinner, I check to see if we have mushrooms because Adam and I both love this easy creamy mushroom pasta made with our favorite garlic butter mushrooms. This is the most delicious pasta and there's no cream in sight. We are absolutely crazy about mushrooms and have been sharing our favorite recipes for years. Luckily for you, we've included two popular bonus recipes at the end of this video. We're using two types of mushrooms, cremini and shiitake, but if you have access to foraged mushrooms, use them. We're curious, what mushrooms do you usually use in your kitchen? Tell us in the comments. Shiitake stems can be tough, so we remove them, but you can save them for stock another day. Here's some throwback footage of me slicing cremini mushrooms. I wipe them clean with a damp cloth, trim the stems, and slice them thin. Now we're back. Mushrooms are prepped. To add extra flavor, we use three of our favorite ingredients, fresh garlic, fresh thyme, and lemon zest. The combination of these three ingredients with butter is amazing. This is lemon thyme from our tiny garden, but you can use whatever you have available. We often use lemon zest in our recipes. It adds so much more lemony flavor than the juice alone. To remove the zest, use a fine grater or microplane. We only want the yellow part of the zest, not the white, since that tastes bitter. And while we have the grater out, grate some Parmesan cheese. We've set up a large pot of salted water for our pasta and are using pappardelle. I love the wide, thin ribbons, but you can use whatever pasta you love. Cook the mushrooms in a tablespoon of olive oil over medium heat. We want to brown them on both sides, so don't be afraid to let them cook for a few minutes before stirring them. Mushrooms shrink a lot as they cook, so don't get discouraged if it seems like you have too many mushrooms for your pan in the beginning. Here's a glimpse of our video showing how to saute mushrooms. It's a video dedicated to perfecting sauteed mushrooms. We've linked to it below. As your pasta cooks, dunk a mug into the water and save some for later. The starchy water helps to make our velvety sauce. Now that the mushrooms are golden around the edges, we add lots of flavor. Throw in two tablespoons of butter, garlic, thyme, lemon zest, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm also adding some mushroom powder. It's a flavor bomb and fortunately is becoming more common at the store. We've been using it for years and have a recipe for making it at home on Inspired Taste. It's linked below, so definitely check it out. Add your pasta noodles and then to make this saucy, pour in the hot starchy pasta water from earlier. Add the cheese, then toss, 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 until the buttery sauce sticks to the pasta and the mushrooms are scattered throughout. That starchy water is the key to turning the butter into a delicate, creamy sauce. To serve the pasta, squeeze a little lemon juice on top and finish with more cheese, fresh chives if you have them, and a few grinds of black pepper. I like to give everything a big toss. You really want to lift the sauce from the bottom of the pan. It looks light in flavor, but trust me, this is a good one. The noodles are lightly coated in a creamy garlic butter sauce, the mushrooms are perfectly golden, and the fresh lemon brings everything together. This creamy mushroom pasta recipe really is one of our favorites. But before you go, we have to show you two more ideas. Here's our roasted mushrooms. The ingredients are actually very similar to this pasta recipe, but instead of cooking in a skillet, we roast the mushrooms until golden. These make an excellent side dish and I love tossing them onto salads. We also have these easy cheese stuffed mushrooms. I want you to make them so badly that we just had to include this footage. They are so simple and use the mushroom stems, onion, herbs, and cheese as the filling. See how delicious they look? Your friends and family will love them. Links to the roasted and stuffed mushrooms are below. Thanks for cooking with us and be sure to subscribe for more recipes and inspiration. As always, let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. See you next time.